From the late 70s, early 80s, I wanted to deconstruct painting away from the traditional single object. To me, um, uh, when you go into a gallery and you look at a beautiful 19th century painting in a big gold frame, you are looking at a single object of contemplation, which is one way of looking at art. But in the last decades, we've deconstructed especially since conceptual art, to take art into many contexts, many mediums. In fact, the definition has been constantly reworked. And my problem that I set myself was, how could you do that with painting? Because painting is an extremely traditional form in terms of people's expectations of it. Mm -hmm. So to have something on a frame with images, painted with paint, that's sort of saying, I'm someone who is interested in traditional skills, so I had to find a way to deconstruct that. And the first way was um, with the text, where you bring in a psychological stream of consciousness that's expressed through writing on a separate text panel, so you're then talking about two pieces, which makes it a different contemplative act than just looking at one thing. And then I extended that to toys and shelves and ribbons and many other ways of breaking down that singular painting statement. The comment about childlike is always really interesting because if you look at the art that children make, it's actually nothing like what artists who do childlike work do. When artists use childlike style of painting, they're deconstructing their skills, but they're not actually doing what children do. What children do is, is very primitive. Um, so that's always kind of an interesting argument. So I asked myself, how could you make work that's, that's going to be absolutely yours, that no one can copy in the form or the content? For me, the answer to that was to go inside the self very deeply and use a lot of self-portraits and use personal history way back to childhood, particularly a childhood growing up in Australia, which is kind of isolated, and animals and pets and people. And, yeah, my answer to attempting to make original art was to go for the autobiographical. As a poor artist, um, Canvas, linen was very expensive and um, I was looking for ways to, to make work that didn't have to use those traditional supports and um, it came from that. But then I realised by doing that that the fabrics have an entire set of information that, that is about the fabric itself. For example, this current show, American Idol, these are beautiful quality American cottons and somehow the palette is to do with a, a sort of um, life energy of America somehow, the beautiful pale blues and oranges and pinks and florals and it, 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 the fabrics in itself give a portrait of what the culture thinks about itself. The American cottons themselves suggested um, in a way, a sort of perfect 50s childhood in America, which um, I think is actually a bit of a theme culturally. America seems to have gone back to 50s fashion, retro looks, even the TV show Mad Men about the advertising on Madison Avenue in the 50s and 60s. America's going through a huge nostalgia and I felt these cottons that I bought in California were kind of about that, these beautiful, optimistic colours and the florals and the spots and somehow it's to do with an idol of America, which is a play on words of the TV show, American Idol, which is also an American dream because it's the idea of plucking someone out of nowhere to become a very famous singer. Um, and then I worked out the images for those idyllic fabrics. 
I was in a thrift store in California and there was a big book on Baryshnikov and I was looking at it because I like images of ballet and there were three photos where Baryshnikov was dancing but he was not dressed in a ballet costume. He was dressed as a toy soldier, a cowboy and a sailor. And I knew in a moment I would make a work from that and I knew it would be called Baryshnikov and I knew it would be a triptych. He wanted to defect to probably what he saw as a freer culture. So by doing that he was becoming someone else, a very celebrated American celebrity, not just a Russian ballet dancer. And I think some artists in their work are looking for that same sort of transformation. It's finding another layer to yourself or finding new opportunities for yourself through a, an identity that you create. Yeah.